Welcome back to Lemon Week with Cooking with Coach M. I've got my guest chef here and we are gonna make a lemon meringue pie. I've been making lemon meringue pie in a very long time. It's one of the very few things that my mom would bake when I was growing up, so it was very special when she would make it. So mom, I hope you're watching this um, and maybe you're gonna make a lemon meringue pie too. Um, so come, let's see what all the things that we have. Uh, this is for all the things because we're going to do with a crust and everything. We're going to do a graham cracker crust. So we're going to get that. We've got our fresh lemons. We've got, we're going to press this. Donovan wanted to have the candle from Quarantine Crafts in there. So we, oh, so we've got that. We've got butter and eggs and salt. And these are the um, egg whites that I've been saving from lots of recipes because we want to make a really big top. Cream of tartar, corn, um, cornstarch, and the whole thing. So basically we're going to make a lemon curd for the filling, but let's get started on the crust. Okay, so we're gonna make the graham cracker crust. We're not doing a regular crust because I wanna conserve my flour. I think we might try to make some bread this weekend, like everybody else in the world. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of graham crackers in there, I'd say maybe 12 or so. Okay, Donovan, you wanna pulse that up? Okay. Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh my God, they're like flying out. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. That? No, there's still some. There's still. I might just want to. I'm going to eat that one. Stop! No! Right. That's cheating. How many more are in there? There's a lot. Okay. we got to do a little bit more. Here I go. Okay. I think that's good. That was fun. Oh, you can eat this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're supposed to mix in, mm, that's good, three tablespoons of sugar and then some um, five tablespoons of melted butter. That's like semi-melted. Can you give me a spoon, please, Donovan? Mm -hmm. Oh, graham cracker. I haven't had a graham cracker in a really long time. That's good. Okay. So now, Donovan, you're going to pulse this up. Mm -hmm. Pulse it up. Yeah. Okay, we'll go slow here, we'll go slow. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. So, see it's like sandy, it's like a sandy mixture. That's good. Well, don't cut yourself, there's a blade in there. Okay, I'm careful. Now we're gonna press it into our pan. Okay, so we finished our crust. It's in the oven. It's going for 15 minutes. So we're gonna make the fillings. And the filling is kind of like lemon curd. So we've got a cup of sugar, then we're gonna add five tablespoons of cornstarch. Donovan, you do that. One. Here's some salt. And we're supposed to be like whisking this or whatever. You keep going. Are you keeping track of how much you've done? Yeah, it's just three. Um, you need to flatten those. You need to be, make sure this is, that has to be really super proper. It's because You can do it. I believe in you. Great. How many was that? Four. Four. I'm adding the lemon juice freshly squeezed. Oh my gosh. And I'm whisking them to a thickness. Now you need cornstarch in this because you need, that's the thickening agent. Okay, mmm, delightful. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this, sorry, that was really loud. Oh, you need one and a half cups of water too. So we're gonna um, put this um, over a, on the, on the hot thing. The what's the? Stove. The stove. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. So we're gonna do that um, over medium heat, and we're gonna cook it, keeping to whisk it right. Remember, like lemon curd, and we're gonna keep whisking it. Um, thank you, Donovan, until it's starting to really thicken up. In the meantime, we're gonna separate the eggs, and we're just using the yolks because we need to save the whites. Okay, so let's go get it on the hot part stove thing. Hot stove. Hot stove. Okay, you guys, it is like thickening up. Very thick. It's glossy and beautiful, and we're gonna learn how to temper these eggs. So we've got our eggs here. 
Now we can't just add them to the hot thing. We just add a little bit of this to the eggs and we stir them up. Because if we just added the egg yolks straight to that hot pan, Donovan, you wanna turn that down a little bit? Yes. Turn it to the low. If we added it straight to that hot thing, it would make scrambled eggs. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I'm gradually warming up these egg yolks. And I'm just stirring them. Doo, 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 doo. I think I'll do a little bit more. Oh. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Now, I mean, I'm, you could just make lemon curd from the other day, Tuesday. Um, you could just make lemon curd and let it sit and then put that in a prepared pie shell. But um, we wanted to prepare our own. We wanted to prepare our own. Here we go. So I think these are ready. I think, let me feel them. No, I need a little bit more. Ooh. Okay, now we're gonna mix these together, Donovan. You need to whisk like crazy. Whisk, 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 whisk. Because we're not, we don't want scrambled eggs. But we did temper them, right? So we learned tempering. Not like, I have a temper, but like temper, tempering. Oh, mom. Is it so beautiful? Oh my goodness. So we whisk that all in. Now we're gonna add our chunks of butter. That was like a minute that they were doing a thing. Now we're gonna add the three tablespoons of butter. We're gonna whisk this in. So that's very similar to that our lemon curd business, right? And we're just whisking it until it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna pour it into our, our pie shell. And our pie shells over here just came out of the oven. Oh, it's so pretty. And, but we need to let this cool first and then we're gonna add the filling and then we're gonna turn all of these into the biggest meringue you've ever seen. Meringue, meringue, meringue. So to make this meringue, I've got egg whites in here. No, I think I've got eight. It's a lot. I want it to be super tall. I've got my um, cream of tartar right there and then the sugar, a, lo a lot of sugar. It's like, I think it's like a cup. And then I'm just gonna just like whisk it up. So we're gonna definitely have to time lapse this. So I had it um, in the stand mixer to combine everything till it was frothy. And now I've got it over a double broiler and I'm, I'm cooking the egg whites, right? So I'm stirring it and I'm cooking it. And oh my gosh, that was almost a disaster. So I'm doing this until the sugar is totally dissolved. I feel it really thickening up. Do you see it in there, Donovan? Yes. Um, my arm is burning. Now I know what you were talking about when you were whisking your your filling. So I'm cooking the egg whites and I'm trying to do it until they're hot to the touch. Mom! They're not hot to the touch Mom! yet, but I'm definitely Mom! not gonna lick my finger. Yeah, Mom! Okay. So we're gonna keep doing this till they're hot to the touch and then we're gonna put them back in the stand mixer and whip them until they are super tall. Steaming and hot to the touch, so it is whipping it. The egg whites are now cooked, so they're safe to eat. They are gonna get so big. This is so pretty. It looks like a wedding dress. Oh. Look at that. Look at the swirl. Wedding dress swirl. So we're going to go until it makes um, stiff peaks. Donovan says it's already stiff. So it's, it's like pokey. Very stiff and peaks pokey. and delicious. I'm gonna taste it. It's so good. Mm, I add a little bit of vanilla. This is really good. And it's cooked, like it's fully cooked. So it's like ready to go, ready to go. Okay, so we're supposed to pour the filling into our prepared crust. So pour it in, Donovan. Okay. Oh my God. Ah. Oh. Oh. Pour it in, just pour, yeah, you got it. He's pouring, it's good. <gasps> Uh, do you need help? Do you want me to scrape it? No. 
He's got it. I've got, got it. it, Mom. I've got it, Mom. But what about all that stuff? I'm going to scoop it. Scrape it. Scrape okay, it. Okay, I'm going to scoop it. you got to let go. I can't. I, you let go. I can't. I, I can't scrape with the. If I'm not holding onto it. Oh my. Okay. Oh my gosh. It is so vibrant. Oh, you look so good. It's so good. This is fully cooked. Fully cooked. It's so glossy and beautiful. I'm going to lick it. Mmm. Mmm. Yup. That's real dang good. Okay. So then I'm worried about putting my egg whites right on it right now. I just want to cool this. I want to cool this. And then I'm going to put those in there and then I'm going to find my kitchen torch if I still have it and like do the thing on the top. Okay, so my pie is cooled and I have my crazy meringue. Remember it was fully cooked so it's like ready to go. And now I just have to, oh, I have to put it on the pie. So I'm just using my offset spatula. That's when it's like that. It's got a little step in it. I'm gonna spoon this out, oh my goodness. And there's so many different meringue recipes, meringue pie recipes, so you don't have to use mine. I just want you guys to like cook stuff. That's the most important thing to me. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is just, I want a lot of meringue. Isn't that yummy? There's like so much. I think I need like a, like a scraper one. Let me see. Oh, I got this one. Okay. So much. I want all of it on there. And then I'm going to use my kitchen torch. I found it. Remember I said I didn't know if I had it. So like I found it. It was from college. And that was a very long time ago. It's from my senior project. Which is funny because... I studied computer graphics, so why would I need a kitchen torch? But, you know, it's me. Why do I do much of anything? So, if you want to get those fun little peaks, I'm just lifting it like this. Okay. You see this, you guys? Do you just want to make one now? I hope you want to make one. I'm so excited. Okay, kitchen torch.